right, so today I'm going to clone my hard drive and replace it with a solid state drive. I'm going to do it using um, this notebook upgrade kit. Um, got it at Best Buy, SATA wire 3.0. It came with a software disc, um, the Apricorn. So that's what I'm going to do. Here we go. It goes I just clicked through um, it was very straightforward really easy to use I would recommend the product it's a little pricey um, but so far so good and I was really happy with the ease of use it's uh, plugged right into my um, computer there through a blue USB 3.0 connector and it is on and running right here and it's copying my files after this, I'm going to be taking the computer apart. Um, we'll be taking a look in the side there and we'll be replacing the old hard drive with this internal solid state drive. This is an HP Compaq All-in-One 8300 Elite. I'm going to kind of push these right there. When we're pushing up. There we go. Lots of people wonder, can you change anything on these all-in-one PCs? And the answer is yes. Um, as long, I mean, these older ones you still can. I don't know about the newer ones, but this is a 2011 computer, I believe. So far, yes, I've been able to change things. I can see the clips where it looks like it would open up to where it would let us change the CPU in there. Obviously, the big green part, that's our motherboard. And then we have our heat sink coming off the top, over top of our processor. It's got another secondary fan here. Here's our disk drive. And here's where your uh, solid state or your hard drive will go. You've got one SATA port here. Online, I think it talks about there's two. Um, my model only has one. So we want this to line up exactly like we did before. Which I'm realizing now is probably going to be a little bit tricky. So my plan here was to go grab some screws and get them to fit right in there and be able to secure that to the metal piece and be able to put it back in. I had no screws that fit. I found some and struggled getting the top cover to close. And it's because the screws I found lifted it up a little bit. So if you use screws, use flat, flat top screws. I ended up using double-sided mounting tape. It's working just fine. And that's where we put this back cover back on. Believe it or not, that's actually the harder part of doing all this because this thing has a bunch of little pins up here at the top little clips that want to go exactly in the same hole they came out of along with these big metal ones down here at the bottom and these and everybody wants to go right back where they came from and these hooks on the side so take your time doing this don't don't break your stuff over um, being in a hurry so we'll start that struggle now this actually took like 15 minutes but I figured I'd save you guys the hassle All right, so we win. <laughs> 